Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, we're doing our March beauty favorites. I do have a healthy mix here between skincare, makeup, and one hair care product. Before we begin the video, I would love to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to check out my previous video. I think I did a makeup review. It is a vlog style. You do get to see a lot of Toby in there. Um, starting to snow again. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Let's start with skincare for this March Beauty Favorites. I am gonna talk about the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm with Echinacea Green and Beauty. You do get 3.2 ounces here for product. And I really like that you get your little spatula in there so you don't have to Dip your fingers in there um, but that is how much i have been loving this product like i've said before in my channel i feel like cleansing balms add a level of luxury to the cleansing routine and this definitely does it for me i feel like it's gentle enough for the skin but it also removes everything every trace of makeup it is gone sometimes after a long day of work i just want to come home and I reach for this to melt the day off. Um, I feel like it's very effective, it's nourishing, and it's non-drying to the skin. Yeah, so it says here, you have extract of the Moringa tree, a native to India and Africa. It helps to purify and refresh the skin by removing impurities caused by pollution. So it does leave the skin hydrated and silky smooth which I love. I typically do a double cleanse, so this is what I have been reaching for when I do wear makeup as my first cleanse. So I've been loving this for the month of March. Next product, I have a sheet mask, um, and this is by Inns by N. It is the AC Calming System Mask. And I did talk about this in my empties video, so I won't really touch I won't really like talk much about it here, but this is hydrating, moisturizing, brightening, and lifting. It also um, provides the skin with pore care and it is calming, which is something that I loved about this sheet mask. So yeah, I really, really dug this mask. Um, I felt like after application or after removing the mask, my skin was immediately calmed and redness was greatly diminished and this is something i got on face story i will try to incorporate more sheet masks into my favorites video whenever i feel like i was really wowed by a product and i will also be sure to include sephora play products that you know i've been wowed by or maybe um, invested in a full size in just because i feel like a lot of products that we do get in subscription boxes have a little bit of a wow factor and they do kind of deserve to be mentioned in these videos that's where i got this a facial sheet mask from and I loved it. Another thing I have been loving this month is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. She looks like that. I did do a video on this facial cream so I will be sure to link that up there I think. Um, if you do want to find out more about how I use this cream. Um, but I do love this. This is also what I'm wearing as a moisturizer today. So if you're digging how my skin looks today, this is probably why as well. Um, I love how I can use this in the morning before my sunscreen or I can use it at night as the final step in my routine or before a facial oil. So I've been really loving this. I again just use one pump of this all over the face and neck and I do try to work it in in an upward motion. Next product I have is another product I did a video on. This is the Murad Multivitamin Infusion Oil. I have been loving this so much. I think I'm like down to here as far as how much I've been using this. Again, I do use this after I use Proteini if I'm in the mood or I will just use this on the neck and 
chest area to help aid in anti-aging, antioxidant protection, and to brighten that area. As I have noticed that I do have a lot of sun damage on my chest. I used to lay out a lot when I was much younger and that was a huge mistake that I didn't know I was making. I thought that laying out was cool, it was a thing to do. I would go out to the, you know, the beach on the weekend and just lay out for hours. Um, so I do have a lot of sun damage here along the chest. Um, so I do make sure to just use one or two drops of this over the chest area and yeah, it does help to definitely brighten the that area and firm it and protect it against other environmental aggressors. So if I don't feel like using it all over the face, I will go about and using it on the chest and the neck. If you have a drier skin, of course, you can definitely go in and use this before your moisturizer. And if you are interested in learning more about this oil, I will link uh, the video I did on that right up here or here. I don't know. And then the final, I guess, kind of skincare product I have is this uh, lip sleeping mask by Laneige. And this is a tiny one. Um, I did kind of cash in some points at Sephora, so I did get a mini sample, but I promise I will be upgrading to a full size once I'm done with this. I have been really, really loving this lip mask. I feel like it definitely lived up to the hype. I feel like whenever I use it at night, my lips wake up feeling moisturized, smooth, and just you know, ready for the day. So this is a nourishing and plumping berry mix complex and moisture wrap. So yeah, this is quite thick. Um, so I don't know if I will be using this come the summertime, um, but time will tell. I will be sure to update you guys in the bottom bar or maybe include it in a future uh, favorites video if I'm using this during summer. But so far for uh, winter and kind of spring now, I feel like this is very comfortable for nighttime wear. I feel like if you are a liquid lipstick wearer or a matte lipstick uh, wearer, this will definitely help to make the lips feel more comfortable and ready for the next day. I have a hair care product for you guys here. This is by Christoph Robin. This is a cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. This is essentially a scalp treatment and as you probably already know, I do live on dry shampoo. I do just try to wash my hair two to three times a week at most. Um, I do use this treatment bi-weekly, typically on a Saturday. And I love the scent of this. I do use it after uh, shampooing and then I will go in and again emulsify this leave it on the scalp for about two to three minutes and then i will rinse i feel like after rinsing this my scalp feels comfortable it doesn't itch at all and i do feel like it gets rid of all the dry shampoo gunk um so you want to what it says here is that you want to think of this as a detox or post coloring treatment for the hair um, so I will be definitely purchasing a full size of this because I just love this so much and I mean if you can tell I'm pretty much almost done with them with this I do feel like I have maybe about three to four more uses so a little bit definitely goes a long way with this treatment I feel like if you do live on that dry shampoo life just like I do you will definitely like this um, hair or scalp treatment. I have three uh, lip product favorites. I have been loving the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks um, the last two months or since their release. I did pick up a few shades. Um, so this is the shade Layover, been loving that. And this is the shade on display, which I wore in a past video as well. So that's layover on display. This is the shade Appies, which I may have mentioned in another video. But if I didn't, I am going to swatch it anyway. So these are the three lipstick shades that I have been loving. 
loving. So here we have Appy layover and on display. I've been wearing these two. I feel like these are my perfect day-to-day -day wear shades and I really love this uh, Luxe lipstick formula. I feel like it's hydrating, um, not drying whatsoever, and it is long-lasting. It's definitely very Luxe and I just really love ColourPop and I love that they're made in the USA and they do not test on animals and that they are very affordable and then i have two things that i do kind of want to update you guys because these are products that i have reviewed on my channel before and one of these i did include in a favorites but i feel like i definitely want to update you guys on how these products have worked on me so not so long ago i did do a review on the maybelline 24 hour wear foundation so this is the foundation here i did do a review on it and i loved the finish on initial application i loved it i think i gave it a very positive review on my channel but this broke me out and i may have included that in the bottom bar i'm not too sure i'm gonna have to revisit that but this really, really broke me out. Um, I did use it, I think, twice before I did the review, or maybe it was a initial kind of first impressions kind of video, but I did wake up with a blemish right along here, which I hardly ever get. And then later on, I did go back to the foundation and I did try it again, and I woke up with another breakout the day after. So I don't think I will be reaching for this. Um, foundations can be non-comedogenic, but everybody's skin reacts to it differently. And I feel like this is a great foundation. I love the finish and I love how it wore throughout the day, but it just broke me out. So I will not be reaching for this unless I want to break out. This really just didn't really end up working out for me as much um, as I liked it. The finish of the foundation is excellent and just because it didn't work out for me it doesn't mean that it won't work out for you. Every, like I said, everybody's skin is different. We all react to different skincare products and makeup products differently. Um, and then I do have bad news um this is the ysl all hours foundation and i loved this foundation so much and when i did initially try it i did wake up with some irritation right along here but then i thought it couldn't be like that's not what it's causing you know, this redness or irritation along my skin. So I carried on and I used it and I used it and I loved it. I loved the finish of this foundation. And like I mentioned in one of the favorite videos that I did include this foundation in, um, I didn't like the finish when I applied it with a beauty blender, but I did definitely appreciate the finish this foundation um, had when I applied it with a, a flat kabuki brush, uh, to be precise. But then after seeing that I was getting some redness and irritation along here, I got to, you know, wondering what was causing it. So I stopped using actives on my skin or skincare products with a lot of active ingredients on it. So I stopped using glycolic acid like three times a week. I stopped going in and doing um, weekly facials. I stopped using sheet masks because I thought that maybe I was introducing way too much on my skin. But then I remembered that this initially caused some irritation on my skin, so then I stopped using this for about three weeks in March, and the irritation is gone. So this was pricey, and I did use it for a very, very long time. I think I have about this much left, because I was using this on the daily, or at least when I wore makeup because after a while I, you know, I just had that irritation and nothing would cover it up as much as this. But this was causing the irritation. And I do remember watching Kathleen Light's video on this and she said that this irritated her skin. So, these two foundations in the, uh, the we are no longer trying these out bin. Um, but like I said with the Maybelline, these 
you know, everybody's skin is, is different. We all live in different environments. So what I may react may not be what you react to as well. So don't let that discourage you from maybe picking this up at the drugstore or maybe sampling this at Sephora. Like I said, I do love the finish of this and the coverage of this little guy but unfortunately these two products are just not working out for me anymore alrighty and that is all I have for you uh, for this week's video do let me know in the comments down below what you loved um, in the month of March you can talk about your skincare products or your favorite cosmetic products or even your favorite hair care products um, I know this was definitely a pleasant surprise for me as I don't really do much to my hair in the shower, but this has been a lifesaver, especially for my scalp. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! You don't use the camera one day and then you already forget which one is the record button. Of course, I just start filming and this little guy just starts snoring. But he's so adorable. Toby, goddies, can you stop snoring? Can you stop the snores? Hmm? Why are you just like your daddy? You like to snooze? Hmm? You like to give mom a hard time? Hmm? You like to give mom a hard time, huh? With your snooze? Huh? She's trying to do walks. Huh? Can you stop the snooze? Boo boots? So this is smoothing 